Hello guys, I just got myself a new crimper cable shoe crimper. This one is from uh, Evis. Number is uh, here we got it. And this is nice. You can buy it from uh, Amazon or AliExpress. I will provide link from both down below. And here it is. Look at this. Fantastic. It has a, yeah, I don't know what it's called in English. But you get an enormous amount of power on the jaws. So let's do a test grip. I got two cables from my local supplier. This is, uh, if you can see that, I cannot see if you can focus. Wait. And here we go, here you can see it. This is the 25 millimeter. And I also got one which is, let's see if we can focus on this one. So there we have. 10 millimeter cable and that's not all you need a crimper but you also need a kit of uh, open barrel uh, cable shoes or terminals ring terminals this kit I also will provide links for down below is an excellent kit as well you can see you have all the Normal AVG from the tiniest one to this one, which is 25 millimeters. It is rated in amps, so this one says uh, 100 amp. Yeah, you can see it here 100 amp, 60 amp, 50 amps, and so on. I have now stripped. The cable so it should fit hopefully perfectly inside here this was the 100 amp and this one is a 50 amp both should be looking like this okay let's see if I can crimp it I like to put them inside like this first it's a little hard to do with just two hands but let's open the bandage and here we go oh my god God, it was heavy. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Ooh, I will say that's a really nice crimp. crimp. Looks very, I like to call it sexy. Look at this. It's an amazing finish. And then of course you can uh, put on some shrink. What do you call it? Heat shrink? Over it when you're done. Then it will look extremely well. Well, let's do the next one. This is the biggest one. That can be done with this plier. There is also another plier which takes even bigger. Okay, this one was a little too much opening, so we have to squeeze it a little. Like this. Okay, looks like this. And then let's see. Oh! Okay, it's coming. Ooh. Okay. The plier is a little uh, too narrow. You see it did not catch all the way out on, on the bottom. But apart from that, it looks excellent. Let's do it one more time on the top. And here we go. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. <laughs> I am extremely happy. 
This is so nice. Looks uh, professional to me. It's not all the way down in the middle maybe, but uh, there is no way you're going to remove this one. No way. This is a nice crimp. I must say my, I am real happy with them. Fantastic! This plier with the hydro hydraulic uh, crimping system is good if you make it the right cable to the right clamp because I did not let's see. As you can see this one, you get some wings on each side. And I soldered it so yeah. But I I'm not happy with it. It's probably a very good crimp, but uh, still this is how they looks. Compared to the what I will say the excellent one. Which is this open parallel system. Which then makes this nice crimps. Yeah. In my mind there is no doubt I like the open barrel one with this blue cable. I find that very excellent. Yes. Another thing I learned during this lesson is that uh, there are some screws here with some numbers on it. One to four is it? One to four. You can change the position by unscrewing this and push it through and turn it. Then you will increase the pressure in this part. And it's just shown very clearly here. You can see the first crimp was with number one. And the second one I did in position number three. So first crimp, position number one. This one, position number three. You can see it still makes a more heavy crimp on it. Still does not look quite as good as this one because this one is nearly perfect. But practice, there's Mester, I think it's called, at least in Norwegian language. Yep. That's it. Two pliers, two different ones. One hydraulic, three ton, six ton, something like that. And this one, which then I, I like to call a roll press, which use this barrel. Cable crimpers, cable, what is this called? Cable looks, terminals, ring terminals. Compared to this one that you need uh, to squeeze it flat. Then, hope to see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.